Hey, well, we are back with more Raven's Cry, so let's just go on and sail to our next destination. Oh god, if I actually glitched, actually, if I actually glitched during the, the during the loading screen, it's gonna crash, something like that. But anyway, our next task is gonna be go to come on, load that map. We need to go to Saint George, which is here, and deliver some stuff and find out about a missing mad person. So while we're gonna do that, I might actually find out how we can get ourselves some crew members. Hell, we are under attack, and I didn't even expect. Ooh, crap! That's a big galleon. And again with a different letter. Ooh, that's a big ship. And if you can, we can even take it down. Ooh, Christ! This is not going to end well for us. I'm undergunned, underperformed, so to speak. These guys are huge. Ooh, that was a good dodge. That was a good dodge. It seems like the regular cannonballs do much more damage than the chain shot ones. I'm going to sink here. I should wonder for you. This, this is clearly like a battle I cannot skip because that, like a, I guess it's like a mission battle. So I wonder if I can like... I don't know, maybe visit a different island and suck up a... And stuck up on better thing, like better, like more people least. Because this way, I'm not, gonna, I'm gonna get myself screwed up hard. <laughs> Man, they're really fucking up my ship, aren't they? Well, most of I can do is like basically damage their sails because I cannot reach the ship itself. They can damage my sails as well. And Christopher is not helping with his motivation towards his men. Managed, thanks, I managed. I think I managed to dodge that one. I really need to get like a carpenter on my on my ship because going towards to repair your ship is not exactly good. Bodes well for your income. Not very helpful, actually. I actually wonder if you can speed up the reload times of your cannons if you have more people on your ship. That's in that's, that's something I need to see. Ah, oh, crap! I missed. Man, is it me or does uh, Christopher sound like he's like an orc commander for Warhammer 40k whenever he yells commands? Seriously, it kind of sounds like he it was recorded by a different person. There we go, there goes some of their sails. I guess with their sails wrecked, they won't exactly follow me, so maybe I can have, like, like shoot them some more from a distance. Also, I will add also that this exactly isn't because, again, this, even with the camera changes, kinda hard to aim a proper shot. There is no real aiming. I know it's not supposed to be like it's supposed to be more hardcore in that aspect, but it would be help helpful to at least know where my shots are being aimed. But as it stands, we're just flicking shots at each other, hoping that something sticks. I actually did look up the whole uh, thing with the, your crew, like, I don't, I don't mean like your team, but more like your uh, personal crew, like, you know, your carpenter and second officer, so like, so the guy I have would do with naval combat, but he sucks at boring, so it seems like each, oh shit, that was my mast. So it seems like each guy in your crew has like specific means of being good at something and sucking at something. So an officer who's good at combat, he's gonna suck at boring, who's good at boring, he maybe suck at combat or your reputation will go up faster, you know, with, against a specific side. We are sunk. This island, maybe I'll visit another island, just see if I can stuck up on, I don't know, stuck up on stuff. Oh, the grape shots didn't work. Okay then, let's give it another shot. I'm actually gonna try and visit a different island, not go here where we need to go by plot. I go somewhere here, see if we can sign, uh, I can hire myself some extra crew members, like visit like a local tavern or something like that, because I'm pretty much low on guns, like low on, you know, on helping hands, so maybe if I get more men on my crew, I'll have easier times finding off that ship. Because this game doesn't really, ex I don't think this game really does explain where you can uh, recruit more men for your team, So, but my guess is it probably will be the tavern. But that's just a guess, I'm not exactly 100% sure. I wanted to look it up, but I thought that would not be very fair for this let's, this let's play because it would be kind of cheating. So I thought, screw it, I'm gonna look it up. We're gonna do it, you know, old school style. Let's go and find us our tavern. So what I'm gonna do. See salesman. Tavern, that's the place we need to go. Merchant, shipwright. Okay, guys, so I gotta put. We're gonna return back when I get back with the whole exploring the island and see if this place has a tower or something. What's this guy? Hold on, let's see who, what this guy's deal is. Hey dude, what's your deal? 
Make it quick. I just got word that my wife's sick. Oh, I guess it's real bad. If we've got the time, I'd like to go see her in St. George's. Oh god, three places at once? Okay, dude. I think we can spare the time. Appreciate it, Captain. I'll speak with you when we arrive in port. Holy shit, three, lo three guys who all need to go to St. George's. Like that Mexican, the Spanish guy who offered us a mission, the, the pirate hunter, and now our own crew member. Holy f hell, St. George must be a really awesome place. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go and explore the town to see if I can hire more men, so we'll be back in a few seconds, so give me a sec. Okay, well, we are back. Well, I couldn't exactly recruit myself some more crew members, but... I did recruit myself. What was this? Uh, this guy for the first officer. Uh, a different one as opposed to my original guy. And this guy, who's a, who's gonna be our navigator, who's like apparently a Viking. He's looking for his answers, uh, stuff related to his ancestors. I still have no freaking clue where you hire more crewmen for your ship, but. Well, you know, I'm gonna work with what I have, so let's head out to sea again. Okay, the, that ship... Oh, the, now it's a schooner. We just need to make sure, I guess, we don't stand still, because we then we become an easier target for them. There we go, fuck up their sails somewhat. Then we, maybe we can try and board them or something, after we fuck up with, uh, with, uh, with enough grape shot. Maybe that's where we, how we can recruit crew members to our... Man, these guys cannot even drop B on me. Which would make sense, you know, you get more crew members, you get a bigger ship, you can get more cannons, since I have like a small ship right now. I have like a this ship, like a schooner, I think, but it's a galleon, I can't remember. And I'm really messing up these guys. Let's switch to Grape Shot and fuck up their crew members. And when they're not firing at me, I wonder if the AI has um, glitched out at this point. You know, this battle can use kind of some sort of bomb bombastic music. Yes, it has some bombastic music playing, but not something I would expect. Something. Oh, I'm, I'm really fucking up their crew. Oh shit, now they're firing back at me. Chain shots. Oh, well, it's not that deadly, but it's annoying. Oh, now they're trying to escape from me. Not gonna happen. Not this time, assholes. There's another part of their sails gone. And they really messed up my crew with the grape shot. Yes, the last crew members you maybe have, the, the slower your gun re reloads. There we go, there we go, their sails. Now let's fuck up their. Damn it, cannot reach them with this. So we need to get a little closer. Let's try and get a little closer to them, then bombard them with grape shots. There we go, there goes their crew entirely. So let's board their ship. So the sinking ship will pretty much destroy all the cargo it has, maybe with not being. There was one enemy, blah blah blah. There's no enemies left. Yeah, let's try let's board this bitch. We have a hundred percent chance because it's pretty much killed all their crewmates. Ooh, that's good stuff. Take all. Except what do we do? Burn these motherfuckers. There we go. And we are out of here. So now, at least we know how that works, and how we can get crew members to join our group. For that we pretty much need to board and attack ships, I guess. Can I like, go to the map? Yes, I can go to the map. Oh, that was fun. At least now we know how to work this properly. I need to repair my ship now, actually, because it got messed up. I actually need to get the money for that. Yeah, so we now have a navigation officer, we have a first officer and all that jazz. And my ship looks fucked up. Not too fucked up, but still fucked up. Okay, let's do all the stuff we need to do in this island here. Let's do this. Okay, let's talk to this guy for find my wife, Captain. Come on, find. I thought you said she was home sick. Um, yeah, Lord, she is. I mean, permission to go see her. It's really important that I go today, sir. Yeah, go. Sure, to. you. <clears throat> you go ahead. Meet back at the ship when you're done. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Captain. Hey, we actually got some reputations for. With, so, well, whom did we get reputations for? Okay, what do we have here? Quick, let's take a quick look. Genie Docks, Fingrek, Archer, French Governor, Shaggy. Shaggy? What's Scooby Doo? What does my ship have? 
We have rations, we have some rum, same cloth, sugar, cotton, ebony, grape shots, change, cannabis. Okay. Uh, follow Hugo, okay? Yeah, let's follow this dude first and then talk to all the other dudes. So St. George be, better be fucking worth it. Let's talk to the see where the, this guy is going. Oh, just me? I was just walking behind me. I don't think he was even bothering to look back at me. I like how the game said, oh, you need to sneak, and I'm just like, uh, he's not even looking back at me, why should I sneak? Oh, whatever. Man, we are re a real Assassin's Creed type sneak guy, huh? They cannot even see me. They can't even see me, I mean, you can see me. Nobody can see me. Why am I even bothering with this? The guy cannot even, doesn't even look back. Ah, oh, look at the happy dancing drunks. Wait, is that? Okay, Hugh, where are you taking us? Jesus. And we're gonna have to go visit all these other assholes here. I really don't get why they even have a sneaky mission. This guy doesn't even bother to look back for a second. Like it's not like he stops, st starts looking back like it was in say, an Assassin's Creed game. Like say, the hell? What, was I stuck on a chicken? Yeah, that's a strong chicken. I guess this is where his wife is. Death. Monks. So she's like, is she like a nun now? What's up, dudes? Whom you praying to, God? That's cool. There he is. Let's... All right, Hugh. What the fuck is going on here? What's the fuck existing Can't back then? What, what are you doing here? I was tailing you. you. Shit. What are you doing? This ain't a hospital, and sure as hell isn't your house. I, I'm sorry, Captain. Well, I ain't told you the truth. I got word that my wife is about to get married. I thought she was married to you. She is that godless bitch who we've been separated for a good while on account of she don't want me pirating and sailing and drinking. But the sea is better to me than she's ever been. So I figured I'd crew with you for a few months, then come back when she calmed down. Now she's getting married. Well, you cannot blame her, dude. I don't like being lied to, Hugh. Especially by my own damn crew. I'm sorry, Captain. I know I shouldn't have lied, but I didn't think you'd understand. I got to go in there and see her before she gets hitched. She's getting married today? Right now? She is! Right through there! And Captain, she's marrying a French sailor. A damned Navy man! I'm so freaked out that I can't even Shit. move my mouth! My wife! Marrying a damned frog. See how freaked up I I can't, I can't even move my mouth. I'm a ventriloquist now. Minutes, just five minutes to talk to her, and then I'll go. Please, Captain, I've come this far. You mean I've come this far? <sighs> okay, let's Damn do this. You. All right. Five minutes, and I'm coming in with you. Thank you, Captain. You won't regret it, I promise. Oh, I think we will. Five bucks says the guy flips and starts shooting everyone. That's how pirate theme weddings usually end. Undo your Jeanette. Take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband. I do. You already I knew it. Husband. <laughs> I knew it. Jeanette! Men, two arms! That's two. There we go. I knew this was gonna happen.
Hey, how do I use the healing thingy? I have a healing thingy, I know. I think I used it. And I'm gonna die now. Yep, I died. Thanks a lot, Hugh, you jackpipe. Okay, F this fucking fight. He does just fuck this motherfucker. Fuck you. What the hell is my bullets just firing like that? Come here, motherfucker. I'm gonna show you. I died because of you several times. Asshole. Fucking asshole. Seriously, I. I had to go through fucking hell and I can't, cannot beat these French guys. Or well, because the combat is fucking broken as shit. This game. <sighs> I still hope you guys at least had a good laugh with watching me die several times. I actually had a good laugh myself until I was getting frustrated. Okay, let's see what this guy has to offer us. Hey, brother. I've got a job for you. Quick, get over here. I'm not your brother, and I don't need your job. Fuck off. <laughs> Typical. All right, then. Throw away easy money. See if I care. What kind of job? <laughs> kind that pays well. My name's Jean Ledoux. And I need to get out of the harbor without being sunk to the bottom of the damn ocean. So just a get a ship. Assholes out there that think they can steal what's mine. They know I've got to sail out of here sooner or later, but they won't be expecting me to have company. We say they won't be least dozens of them. They'll I open up on them while they're distracted. And they'll duck and run, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Then we meet up, and I'll pay you for your help. Hell, I'll even restock all your munitions, too. How's that for a deal? Why are these men trying to kill you? Yeah, good question, Christopher. They're my business partners, if you can call them that. Then loaf around all day while I make all the sales. Then. They expect me to split the profit down the middle? When I finally told them to go to hell? One thing led to another. And now, they've been floating out there going on two days. Cannons loaded. You can't reason with them? Reason with them? Those bastards are trying to kill me. Let them reason with a cannon volley. Yeah, well, no, we can use some money. All right. Good man. Just a set. Okay, well, that least girl gets some some cash we can use anyway. 
Okay, let's go visit some of those last guys in our list here. Before we set out to find a spy dude. Fuck off, Frenchy. Okay, there's two guys here. Let's see what they are about. Luke Morell? I'm Christopher Raven. What do you want? A job? Looks like you could do some damage with that hook of yours. If you know how to use it, of course. It cuts through French gas bags like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> That's oh a good one. Dieu. One has to be careful awaits you, eh? Diego Alfaro sends you a message. Huh. Working for Santorio. Are you? Does Santorio usually have pirates working for him? Right, Diego. I was expecting to see his ugly Spaniard face yesterday. Again, the guy was supposed That's to be Spaniard, message. he doesn't sound Spaniard. He's not coming. You let me down again, Secretary Espanol. He said you two had a lethal arrangement. Ah, I see. He sent you. Well, at least he arranged a replacement this time. You've got it wrong. He said you would pay me what you owe him. You believe that? You're a gullible one. Ooh, no I'm gonna shoot that French so that Spanish son of a bitch. The hell with your monies anyways. I was doing a favor for Diego, and now the favor is done. Wait a moment. I mean to no insult, my friend. That damn Diego makes me see fire. Why not wait for a moment and listen to my offer? Okay, what well, it is, is that weird? I need someone to pay a visit to three men who have become problems for me. The pay for this task would be quite high. How high are we talking? You know the going rate per head around here? Twice that. I'll do it. For three times the rate. But, mon ami, the total would be nine times what I pay any cutthroat around here. Then hire one. My rate is four times that. But you just say three. Yeah, <laughs> I like you now, Christopher. Oh, <laughs> you're, sure you're good, Christopher. You're good, dude. We have a deal. Not yet. I need to see the governor, but I don't have the right papers. You have a way to arrange that? You want to see the governor? Last I checked, my job description didn't include answering your questions. So can you oh, I didn't know we need to get some documents actually to see the dude. That's a that's a, a you know. one. All right, we have a deal. Sweet. Who am I visiting? I have their names, but I must warn you, there are not weak men. You will earn your money. Just give me the names. I'll worry about the rest. André Lefebvre, Michel Roux, and Pierre Martel. They are mercenaries currently staying in the St. George. Oh, lucky us! Wait. These aren't your own men, are they? I'm not paying you to ask questions. Smart ass. Okay, let's see what the last guy has to tell, tell us and we'll be done for this time. This holy fuck balls, this fucking love game. Captain Ravon? What? You're Captain Ravon, aren't you? Yes, I am, Frenchie. Where's your sword glued to your body? I get irritated. You don't know me, but I've been looking for you for some time. I need your help. To you unglue the sword? You and everyone else. What do you want? My name is Archie Accor. And I'm representing the Akko family. My father died recently. I like how his conversation and room. body movement doesn't really fit. The He's just jittering around, moving randomly. And personal items and family heirlooms. Mostly things that are valuable to our family, but wouldn't be worth much to others. What's this got to do with me? I've heard you are shrewd and 
resourceful captain. My family has pulled their money and are willing to pay you 200 gold for my safe passage to and from the island on the map. Fine, but I don't have time to watch after you, and my ship's got no room for land rats. I'll go get it and bring it back here. That's smart. Captain, I may be a stranger to the ocean, but I'm no fool. I will come with you, or there's no deal. The family is simply asking for my safe passage, nothing more, and at a sizable profit to you. Doesn't sound worth my time. Find someone else. Oh, dude. Captain Ravon, please reconsider. It has to be you. What I mean is, I won't be any extra work for you or your crew, and the reward 200 is 200 bucks is a good reward, dude. I would take it. All right, fine. Just you, there and back. Excellent. I have some last-minute preparations to make, but I'll meet you by your ship when you're ready to set sail. This will be a very informative trip. Captain, I'm looking forward to it. Right. Be at my ship when I arrive, or I'm leaving you behind. Count on it. Oh, why do I have a strange feeling that this French dude is gonna fucking screw us over in some manner? I don't know, just something that you'd expect a French person to do. So we're gonna visit this guy last, I guess. But that's gonna be for later. As in, as in for now, I think we're gonna end it here for now, guys. So I'll see you guys with more Ravens Cry next. Ravens Cry next time. Until then, bye bye. Yeah.